The Trader Workstation Allocation Order Tool allows the advisor to quickly and accurately allocate a single trade in stocks, options, futures or future options into their clients' accounts. Advisors can narrow down the list of eligible accounts by using a variety of filters and choose the allocation method prior to submitting the trade. Allocation profiles can also be created and saved for repeated use in the future. The Allocation Order Tool can be accessed in Mosaic from the Order Entry Panel by clicking on the Advanced button in the centre right. Once the pop-up appears, look for the Allocation Order Tool button to the left and left-click on it. Whichever symbol is highlighted prior to clicking on the Allocation Order Tool will appear at the top and you can choose between Buy or Sell. The Allocation Order Tool offers the ability to choose accounts by using multiple filters. You can start by either selecting all or a group of accounts, as well as narrow down the choices to accounts with an existing position. Once you have narrowed the choice of accounts, you can use the remaining six available filters by selecting greater than, less than, or in the range of. Four of the six additional filters refer to existing positions. They include position, market value, percent of net liquidation, and unrealized P&L. The other two filters are cash balance and buying power. These are based on your independent position and do not take into account any funds allocated to models. Let's go through a few examples using the filters. First, let's allocate to a group. In the top left-hand corner, there is an allocation drop-down box and you can allocate to either all the accounts or a specific group that you created in the advisor setup area. Let's allocate to the group Demo 1. Only the accounts in the group are now shown at the bottom. Let's reset the allocation to All by scrolling up in the drop-down box and you'll see that all the accounts now appear. For our second example, we'll only include accounts with a position. Look for the checkbox underneath Position on the left-hand side and click Apply and only accounts with an existing IBKR position will be checked. Click the Reset All button on the left side to reset the filters. The Auto Allocation tool allows you to use multiple filters to narrow down your choices. Our final example is allocating to accounts with a position greater than 10,000 shares and a cash balance between 250,000 and 12 million. Notice it now only displays accounts that qualify for both filters checked. Once you have selected the accounts, you can choose the allocation method to use for the trade. Choose between the following five allocation methods. Increase or decrease the position by a certain percentage. Choose a percentage of cash balance or buying power. Allocate total quantity or cash quantity equally or proportionally using position, cash balance or buying power. Use a percentage from a recent trade or enter a custom quantity or cash quantity value for each account. Now let us go through some allocation examples to show the different number of shares that will be calculated. During the different examples, you'll notice that the shares allocated to each account change depending on the method selected. First, let's increase the positions by 25%. Click the blue Apply button. The quantity column below shows the shares that will be allocated for the order. Next, we will trade a total quantity of 1,000 shares equally between accounts. And click Apply. All of the accounts will now receive an equal number of shares. Even after setting the allocation method, the shares can be manually adjusted. Manually set the quantity for each account by left-clicking on any value in the Quantity or Cash Quantity row and entering the desired value. The Allocation Order tool allows you to set the same breakdown from a recent trade. Left-click on Allocate from Recent Trade Choose Select and scroll through the list of trades for the past seven days. 
You can narrow down the choice of days available by clicking on the arrow in the top right corner and choosing the number of days. Click on the box next to the trade allocation you want to replicate. Once the trade is selected, click on the Select button in the bottom right. Once the allocation method has been selected and applied, click on the Set Allocation button at the bottom right of the information box and you will return to the Order Entry panel. Notice in the bottom centre next to Allocation, it shows Custom and Edit using Allocation Order Tool. Click Submit and the Order Confirmation window will appear where you can double check that the allocation is correct. As long as the proper funds are in the accounts, the desired quantity should equal the allowed quantity displayed in the allocation area. Click Override and Transmit and your order will be sent to the marketplace with the correct pre-trade allocation that you just set. It is recommended that you try this out in your paper trading account until you are comfortable using the Allocation Order Tool.